Ken Dando is using the power of art to describe his year and a half journey with Parkinson's disease. Diagnosed, it was a kind of a big cloud and it was pretty depressing for a little while and there were some tears. I found for me exercise was really, really helpful. I've done a lot of exercise and I really feel a lot better since I've been doing the exercise. The 13, uh, that usually is kind of bad luck, right? And in my case, um, actually the 13 is good because I have, that's people that are behind me. I have uh, uh, six grandchildren, three daughters, three wonderful daughters, three son-in-laws that are very good guys and a wonderful life. So that makes my uh, 13. Dando participates in Shake It Up, an art therapy group held twice a month for those dealing with Parkinson's. The group is led by Janice Horn, who was diagnosed with the disease at just 37 years old. You know, when we ask for help, we need it. Right? Yes, I know, I know. To deal with the news, Horn turned to art. I was very depressed for a long time, which, and art was the one way I was able to express that to people. And my, you know, I couldn't tell my family, I couldn't tell people. I didn't want them to feel bad for me, so I was trying to be strong. And so I didn't tell them. So that helps a lot because I was able to get the motions out on paper. She says art also helps deal with her tremors. The tremor, for some reason, when, I, when I'm drawing or painting, it just seems to get so much better. So I can actually do a good painting even though I'm tremoring most of the time. Art therapy also provides other benefits to those with Parkinson's. It helps to promote neuroplasticity in the brain. So when you're doing something new and, and you're working with your fine motor skills and you're working on creativity and um, expressing things that maybe you can't express verbally or um, with facial expressions anymore, that all helps to challenge your brain and um, that helps to protect your brain. When you're challenging your brain cells, it protects the brain cells. For folks like Ken Dando, he's experiencing those benefits and much more thanks to his time in the therapy group. you got to get out and get doing things. The more you do of that, the better, whatever it is. So this is good to kind of get together with a group of people that are the same as you. I can hear from the front of the office, I can hear conversation and laughter, and that's really what we want to see, that they're enjoying themselves and they're having an outlet to create and share their experiences with each other. Programs like these are funded through events like the Parkinson Canada Superwalk. The 2017 Winnipeg edition takes place September 9th at the U of M's Max Bell Centre Fieldhouse.